Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this lesson, in this video, we're going to continue build our management role management system. But before the video, crash the like button and drop some comment below the video. If you need to ask any questions, I will I will be more than happy to help you guys. That's why I'm here in the first place. Okay, all right, let's jump into the coding now. Um, previous lesson we did our mig migration and now we're going to add our roles now this is the easy part let's go to our controllers this is our controllers guys before lesson i delete the authorization all of them uh, if you can see this is empty right now if you have some authorization around here because we add some authorization attribute to try our login logout. Actually, we didn't do the logout yet. Our login. Um, just clear them all, or you can add with me, and you can clear while you're adding. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Start with the con about controller. We're going to use the same attribute authorize, but only the only uh, different thing is we're going to add roles which is going to be super admin it takes should be same exactly what is written in database okay so in this controller now only super admin role have access let's control c and copy and paste for all of other controllers Yep, home page, portfolio, oops, service, team controller, test model controllers. Okay. Now, uh, before that, let me have a look quickly. Is there any other authorized attribute has been added? Because uh, before the lesson, I tried some kind of uh, different things to make myself sure everything is perfect for the video. Let's collapse everything now. Dashboard, home page, collapse all definitions. Always use the collapse definitions, guy, because once you jump into coding quickly it might have it might be how can i say becoming a really really large so if you use this collapse definitions you're able to see much more clearly everything okay everything seems perfect let's add our attribute to our user section controllers Authentication controllers. Let's collapse definitions and let's paste. And it's going to be members, but also it has to be super admin. Why I'm using add two roles? By the way, if you see, this is plural, so we can add more than one roles here. If I add our roles like this it doesn't matter this is comma works like and or operator so if a person has member or super admin role they able to log in and see the page if you add your authorization like this the user has to have both roles so if a user doesn't have member and super admin at the same time so they nobody able to come and see the page so this is this is what we what we need to do in this scenario let's come here let's copy this one because i'm gonna use this authorization method in my user panel it's all done uh now we able to we able to uh use our rolling system let's give a try now everything done and ready now we're going to try our i'm going to close that quiet section 
I'm waiting my application to be opened. All right, let's go user panel first. And the email address is stop. It's, I guess, what's happening? Yeah, it's two. Password is password one, two, star, star. Let's log in. I'm waiting. Yep. We are here. We logged in. This is test member. And now I'm going to try to go admin page. Here we go. You don't have any permission to see this page for all free. If you remember, we while we creating our identity configurations, cookie configurations, we defined our access denied page and now we are using it. Okay, perfect. It's working. As you remember, we forgot to add our logout button, right? So we I would like to edit so I guess I am going to add this logout section in my user area. Let's have a look. controller authentication user controller. This is user Reddit, user Reddit. Yeah, let's create our logout section here. Public I action result log out I don't remember which um, variable we need or do we need one I'm just going to try and see what we need await user manager log is there any log out no I guess I guess it must be sign in manager. Let's add the sign in manager. I should have add this method for a while ago. Come on C sharp. Yep. Add parameters. Now I'm going to sign in manager, sign out async. Yep, so we don't async, task async, yeah. We need a return, so we don't, we need a return. Um, yeah, return is going to be weave. Okay, uh, let's think a little bit. Once we use the sign out page, where are we supposed to go? Return view. Let's add this layout section in our user panel. Let's go layout. Where is our buttons? Mm. Dashboard, index, home, yeah, I can use this one. Let's make it danger. ASP area user, ASP controller. Uh, the name of controller is this one, yeah. ASP action. Log out. Is that correct? Let's make it. No, I didn't like it. Okay, leave it like that. Anything else? Yeah, we need to change the type of our icon. Let's have a look now. Put strap. Let's go up. Uh, put strap icons. 
exit. Yep, we can use which one, which one? This is nice. I'm gonna use that one. Control C. Okay. All right, let's now save it. By the way, once I click the logout section, I'm going to redirect myself to the main home page, but we don't have one right now. Let's try this button first and see what's going to happen and we can uh, fix it. user password one two star star here we go this is our logout button let's click this hmm oh we didn't create a view oh my god this is my bet we create we return ourselves a view, but we don't have any view. So I'm not going to use a return view. So I am going to redirect to action. Um, so action name is index. The controller name. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me plug in my laptop chop it's going down yep let me open my brightness all right uh yeah index the controller is home and the area is empty Actually, I'm not going to use this. What if I just use just redirect? It's a st string URL. It's asking a URL, right? What if I use slash home slash index? Let's try this one. I think this is better. Once we locked out, we will redirect to this home page. Yep, we are indexed now. Let's log out. <laughs> Local host cannot be found. Okay, let's have a look again. So this is not working. Okay, no problem. Let's use the direct to action. Same as before. New area. Or just leave it like that because I don't have any area for this section. Home and index. Do I have any home in our controller? Home controller, yep. And is there any index? Yep, we have an index. It must be work now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's look at now. Why I have this error message? Users, attention call. Did I write something wrong? Let's go to the layout. Where is my layout? Where is my layout? Controller is user. Authentication user controller. 
ASP action is log out. Log out. Let's break put a breakdown here. Is there any ASP area user? Yep. ASP controller authentication user controller. It must be work now. Let's, let's try one more time. Oh, why? This is not working. This is not working. User authentication user control. User. Yeah. Authentication user. Oh my god. Oh my god, why I add this controller here? This is all my bad. <laughs> Probably redirect was working, but doesn't matter. You can use both redirect and redirect to action, but I'm not going to change it anyway. Probably it's going to work now. Yep, we are here now. Let's continue. And user home. It's not here. Alright, let's have a look now. Probably we did something wrong. Is it home or index? User home. Uh, it's directed us to user area. That's why. Let's new area. Let's try redirect one more time. And if it's not work, I'm going to use another alternative type home index. The previous, previous one, the problem was on the our layout controller name. We add controller to our controller name. This is, it was a mistake. Hopefully, we able to do right now. <laughs> As you can see, we locked out. Password, one, two, star, star. The easiest part of identity takes much more time than the others. <laughs> All right, let's log out. Here we go. We are in home index. Perfect. It's working. Now uh, we can add this logout button anywhere you want. Let's add it to our admin section as well. Let's copy this section. Let's go to admin page, admin layout. This is control V, control KD, and user at the authentication users logout. Yep, perfect. And logout. All right. Let's try this one as well. Let me see how many minutes it's been done. It's 18, almost 19 minutes. Let's go admin. This is our admin email address. Password, one, two, star, star. Let's get inside. Here we go. We are in admin. And let's try to log out. Here we go. All done. Perfect. Okay. Um, so assigning roles and log out button has been finished in this lesson hopefully you understand every detail what i show you next lesson will be about our policies in this scenario we don't need any we don't need to add any policy but i would like to show you how can we add policies so it's going to be about the next lesson wait for tomorrow and i will be with you take care of yourself kai bye bye